Hi guys, here's to Shalach. I'm here today with a project for Art on the Go YouTube Hop, which is a part of Finavar YouTube Hop. All rules and needed information you will find in the description box below this video. My project is a metal tin that I altered and I gave it a new life. At first I used heavy gesso white to prime the whole tin because I needed another surface so the, all the paints and other media I will be using later will stick to the surface. Now I apply the other layer, second layer of white gesso and uh, I didn't want to make this video very long so I applied three layers before I started to work with icing paste and the Finavar stencil. All supplies are shown on the at the end of this video and also you will find the list of all supplies in the description box below. I tried everything with heating gun and now you can see Sound Studio Paint Chips chipboard on the, on the white sheet you can see several designs I for this project I need only one shape As you can see icing paste by Finavar is really great to be applied through the stencil but also it can be used as you can see now with a brush and it can be applied on uh, other surface as a very uh, thin layer to add some color this color is very very delicate and uh, in my situation now in my project i wanted to add some silvery spark to to this to this chipboard element before i started working on this project i prepared also some molds and uh, now you can see the flower from uh, one of the finavar mold and uh, i wanted to make it my focal point for the cover of the tin so i started to work with a 3d gloss gel now i used some art stones in different sizes the process of creating the whole tin is much longer than you can see it on this video but I didn't uh, want to make you bored, so I cut uh, lots of elements of my working. As you can see, now there are lots of art stones, but I, I believe that if you can see the process, you can do it by yourself, even if it's shown only for the short time. Liquid acrylics are my very favorite product of new product of Finovar. As you can see now, I, I uh, used only a small drop of deep turquoise and um, of deep turquoise color and it is uh, so rich that I didn't want to use it as it is. I, I took a bit of it into the separate cell and 
I added liquid medium to make it even more translucent. And I used this translucent shade around the tin and also on the earth stones. And then I added a bit of contrast with this darker um, shade which was created by me initially using liquid acrylics. When you work on projects like that, it's really best to make sure that the layers are dry before you will start to work with another layer. I didn't um, try this project enough, so you still don't see the 3D gloss gel medium as translucent. You still can see it's white, but if it would be perfectly dry, it would be also totally clear. I didn't cover the mold flower with gesso and it was on purpose because I wanted to achieve a very irregular effect with liquid paints on it. Now you can see mechanicals. I didn't want which exactly mechanicals I will choose for my project, so it's a natural part of creative ventures. Before I glue anything down, I usually try to place elements in uh, final positions to check how everything looks. Heavy body gel medium is my absolutely favorite medium for all heavy elements that has to have to be glued down and. Uh, I am always absolutely sure they will stay on place once heavy body gel is dried. And now finishing touches with Mint Sparkle Box by Finovar. It's not very well visible on the photos but in real, um, the color added by, by wax is, is something that gives more texture, more 3D to the whole project. I applied it on the metal leaves and also on art stones. The project is almost ready. I decided to add only a two more elements. Very shiny, sparky pebbles from one of the Finovar sets.
So here's my tin. My video for Art on the Go YouTube Hop by Finavar. Please check the description below. There are information about prizes and about all the rules. Thank you very much for visiting me today. Bye!